What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So I'm gonna show you guys how to get glyph style icons into your dock. Now this is another very common question and big shout out to Seth Mihail from the I have in discord for this idea and actually for the written tutorial because I was actually a little confused on how to do this myself. Uh, so big shout out to you. Um, it's a very common question how to get these glyph style icons in the dock. Now I'm not running a glyph theme right now. If you guys haven't seen my my first video on how to do the glyph style icons, I'll leave the video link in the description. We're gonna basically be building off of that theme in icon board. So I'm gonna show you guys how to get these glyphs into the dock. Now, the first thing you guys wanna figure out is which wallpaper are you gonna be using for the theme? That's the most important part. This is the wallpaper I'm using, and I'm using it specifically because there is a little region in the dock where there's some color change going on, and this will demonstrate on how this kind of works. Uh, depending on what wallpaper you have, it's gonna change the outcome of your dock. So what you wanna do to start this off is basically just go into edit mode here, and I like to go to a, another springboard page and then drop my docked icons onto the springboard. So now we have a blank dock with the wallpaper showing through it. So that's the image we're gonna be going off of. And then I also do have four icons at the top where I can line up the dock with those icons. And I'll show you guys what I mean in a second. Go ahead and take a screenshot of that and then we can just go ahead and click on done. Now the next step is you're gonna to need to use a photo editing application. I use Pixelmator. There is another one that's free from the App Store. I'll leave that one linked down in the description as well. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into uh, Pixelmator here and I'm gonna go ahead and create a new um, project here essentially. So I'm gonna click on that screenshot that I just took and I'm gonna go ahead and import that. So now we let that go ahead and import. Now what we wanna do here is we want to actually import the image once again. So I'm gonna go into my albums just to make sure I get the proper screenshot. So there we go. Now we have two of the same images. So now what we can do from here is I can format one to actually be somewhat see-through. So I can adjust, uh, not there, let me go back into here. So we'll go into adjust and it's under format and then you can change the opacity. I'll turn it down to like 20, 30% ish or so just like that. Now what, what I'll do is I'll slide my layers over here. I'm actually gonna undo that action. Zoom in just a little bit here. And what you wanna do is you wanna place this image so that it is lined up perfectly with the icons at the top. So what I'm gonna do is just get this lined up the best I can so that it mimics the alignment of the dock with the icons. So as you can see there, it is basically being mimicked now. So now what I can do is I can go back into the format for that top layer there, format, and then I can turn the opacity all the way up. And now I have a dock at the top there. That's essentially what you need to do to get this to work. So now that I have this image set, so I have a row of icons at the top that are underneath the dock there that's lined up as if they were in the dock. So I hope that makes sense what I'm doing. This is basically just image manipulation to pull off this effect. So now we can go ahead and I'll just copy it to photos. So now I do have this in my photos. If I go ahead and swipe down here, go to the bottom and there we go. So there is the image that has two docks in it, which looks really goofy. And now this next part, this is where this is gonna make sense. So if we go into icon board now, and here's the Lyaka stickers. Uh, this is the setup that I was working on in a in a previous video. Like I said, guys, if you haven't seen that, watch that first, it would make more sense. But in this setup, I have two rows of icons that are blank because I'm using a widget. So uh, it's gonna be the same thing here, this same setup. As you can see, I have a widget at the top there, which is two rows of icons. So it's gonna go off of that same type and we're gonna do background image. And I'm gonna choose the image that I just created that has the dock that's way up on the top. So there you go. So you can see that in action right now. Now what we wanna do is go ahead and we want to remove the top layer of icons. As you can see right here, they're blank icons. So what you can do is you can essentially just delete invisible icon, delete invisible icon, and delete all four of them just like that. 
And now we want to add the docked icons into this. So what we can do is import from files and I'm gonna back up here until I find the Lyaka stickers. If I just uh, swipe down here, they should be down here somewhere. So there they are right here. And I can't remember which ones I used in that video, but you guys will understand. We'll just go into here. And now I'm gonna create the icons for the ones that I keep in the dock. So the first one is going to be the phone application. So stickers. Okay, so that worked. All I had to do was type Apple in the search there and it brings up all the Apple stock applications. So we'll cho choose the phone here, click on done. And then now we have that icon set up. So let's go ahead and find it. So apparently I was using a different theme and it looks like I actually already have the icons down at the bottom. I guess I didn't realize that, but what you need to do is import your docked icons. And since I already have them, I'm just going to simply uh, move these up. So you just swipe on it. We'll make that one at the top. I'll go back down. Chrome is the next one. Again, I'm just moving this up. Like I said, you guys will have to import your icons. So I'm basically just putting my docked icons um, into that top row. And this is pretty much just uh, image manipulation, basically. We're just manipulating um, icon board to set the backgrounds of these icons to the dock that I have on the top. So if we go into configure screen, as you guys can see there, now those icons are in that dock that I placed up there. So what I can do from here now is I can actually just go export icons, allow, profile downloaded. So we can hop out of there. We can go into settings, go into the profile, install it, put our passcode in just so that we can get the profile installed just like that. And now we can click on done, exit, and now we will have the the um, Lyaka icons here. As you can see, it's pretty dang wonky looking. So I would, basically I'm gonna have to move all of these around to look right. But if we take the uh, icons that we put in the dock there and we move it down into the dock, you guys will see here that they will actually disappear as I place them. And there you go. That's how you're gonna pull off those glyph style docked icons. As you can see, it's basically just image manipulation. Like I said, you have to put a dock into the springboard. I wish icon board would update so you could literally just put them right in the dock, but unfortunately they don't have that yet. But that's how you're gonna make glyphs for the dock. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys need to see the written tutorial for it, I'll leave a link for the I Have in Discord down in the description. So be sure to check that out and check out uh, Seth Mahale's um, post on it if you guys wanna read more in depth on how to do that exactly. But that's essentially how you make the glyphed icons in your dock. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. And if you guys wanna see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.